Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing The Rise of Theodore Roosevelt by Edmund Morris. And this book is a winner of the Pulitzer Prize, and the author, Edmund Morris, uh, is actually a huge TR buff. He's written many a book on the life and times of Theodore Roosevelt, and it really shows in his work. He did a really nice job on this book. Um, I will start off right off the bat by saying I recommend this book to anybody who would like to know a little bit more about Theodore Roosevelt. And so, without further review, here is my review. Uh, I'd like to start off by saying that anybody who decides to pick up this book thinking they're getting a biography on the entirety of Theodore Roosevelt's life is dead wrong. Notice that this book is called The Rise of Theodore Roosevelt, uh, which means this book is basically about um, TR growing up as a as a as an as a kid all the way until he accepts the opportunity to be uh, vice president of the United States. So you don't get to see a lot of the a lot of the life of TR after his vice presidency. So um, if anybody watched the previous video before this, I am grading this book off of how novel, how concise, and how distinct this book is. So let's get right into it. Um, is this book novel? Now, it's a hard question to ask, right? Because biographies in and of themselves are basically just a chronological uh, set of events of a, of a person's life. So, like, how novel can a book be? But I am going to give this biography special points because I actually think that uh, Mr. Morris did a fantastic job at bending this a little bit. For example, uh, the, the uh, chapters in, in these books he basically gives a name to, such as this, chapter 8, The Dude from New York. And although this book is written in chronological order, this time in Theodore Roosevelt's life uh, as a young man um, post-studying uh, post uh, at Harvard and, and, and starting to pursue his, his career in politics in New York, he's the new kid on the block. He's the dude. And so the, the aptly named title, The Dude from New York, gives you an idea of how the chapter is going to lay out, and he definitely spins each chapter to uh, the tone that's presented as, as the title of each chapter, the, the feel of what's going on in TR's life at that moment. So although this book really isn't in any way going to be uh, some crazy whirlwind of novel, I'm actually going to give him some bonus points for how he set this book up. So out of five, I would definitely give him a four, which in a Excuse me, three, three to four, and and in bio, as far as biographies go, I feel like that's pretty hard to do. So nice job, Edmund Morris. I liked it. Uh, number two, how concise is this book? Well, as you can see, that's a pretty thick book. I want to say it was 700 pages. Yep, high 700s, and this only covers the life of T.R. Um, up until his uh, later 30s and. Uh, and becoming vice president. So is this book concise? That's a tough one for me to answer, but I would sum it up by saying this. If the point of a biography were to give really a brief summary of, uh, of, a, of a person's life, that would be more like just a fun novel, right? But, but the point of this was to be a biography and to be extensive. So although I cannot consider this book concise, I will say that he did a really nice job of not drawing out events that didn't need explaining. Um, he did a really nice job of explaining things and getting into detail about events that were significant in uh, Mr. Roosevelt's life that needed explaining, and then he left all the frittery, if that's a word, details that, frivolous? How about that? Details that really didn't need to be presented. Um, so of course, he talks a lot about... Uh, uh, Teddy Roosevelt between the ages of five and ten, but of course there's way more information on the life of him between between you know ten and fifteen or fifteen and twenty. So how about we give it? Uh, how about we give it a three? I think that's fair. Distinct is this book distinct? I cannot say that I am a biography buff. I don't read a whole lot of biographies. I think I've read honestly less than like six. This would I think this is almost my six, this might be my sixth one. Um, as far as how distinct it is. I wouldn't say it's distinct. Again, this is a biography. So this is actually a really hard one for me to rate. Biographies, how do they set up for my rating system, right? But I think he did a nice job. Uh, of course, is it distinct? I don't know if I'd say it's distinct, but just by the fact that it's Theodore Roosevelt's life we're talking about, yeah, I think it's kind of distinct. It's a fun book. 
Um, I think I'm gonna have to come up with a different grading system for biographies, just because the genre kind of demands it. Um, but if we add our two threes and a five, um, 11 divided by three is like three point something. Let's just call it 3.5. I give this book a 3.5 stars. So there you go. Uh, the Rise of Theodore Roosevelt by Edmund Morris. Uh, let me guys know if you disagree or agree with anything about this review. Um, I would like some, some detail on how I'm going to have to grade biographies. So give me some feedback about biographies. I think I'm going to need it. Uh, and other than that, I hope you guys have, a, have an awesome day. Uh, start enjoying this nice weather that we're getting here in, in, in May. And uh, that's it. See you cool cats later. Peace.